surfboard fins. We're gonna turn them into a coat rack. These fins are just shaped like hooks. We took our saw and we dug them out and now you can hang all your stuff on it. We're gonna take four different colors of CC Caldwell paint and we're gonna paint it on and we're gonna distress the heck out of it. It's gonna look like an old boat from Martha's Vineyard that's been floating around for a hundred years. When your friends come over and they see your coat rack, they're gonna think you're a creative genius. CC Caldwell paint is super easy to work with and there are so many beautiful colors to choose from. Brush on several layers of paint letting each color dry completely. This paint dries super fast so you won't have to wait very long. We're going to sand it and wax it and we're just going to make it look decrepit and old. You need some sandpaper or preferably an electric sander because it's faster and you can just really get in there and get that paint off. One of my favorite things to do with this paint is create a super distressed out finish. You achieve this by holding your sander down in different places. Go across the board in a random pattern so that all four colors come to the surface. You just take the wax and you push it in. You just get it in the grooves. You just want to get it in there. It'll just bring out the age and it'll bring the color back. When using bright colors, I like to start with a generous amount of the aging wax. I push it into all the nooks and crannies and then remove the excess by going over it a second time with the clear wax. The satin finish is the final touch and you just coat it and all the colors just, they just come alive. They just get up and dance. The satin finish will protect your surface and bring your colors to life. You gotta get a big router or you could also use a chisel and you take it and you go like this and you make little grooves in the wood and then you sink the fins into the board. You want to start with a board that is at least one inch thick so you have plenty of room to sink your fins into. Decide how many fins you're going to use and where you want them laid out. I've used five for my project, but you can use as many as you want. I got my friend Bobby to help me with the router. Be sure to read all the safety precautions and wear goggles when using this machine. Trace around your fins and cut a groove in the wood, attaching your fins with carpenter's glue. It also helps to keep everything steady by clamping your board down to a table. You want to fill in any gaps with wood putty. Apply a generous amount and wait for it to dry completely. After your wood putty is completely dry, sand it back and go over it again with some touch-up paint and you are ready to hang your coat rack. And that's it, voila, surfboard coat rack. I sell all kinds of creative supplies on my website. We sell the paint and I teach classes at my store. So if you wanna find out more and you live in the San Diego area, you could come take a class and I'll teach you in person how to do this or some other stuff. You can get this paint everywhere. It's just, it's taking off like crazy. The super awesome coat rack that I made for this video is a giveaway. To enter the giveaway, click the link down below and go to my blog to find out who sells the paint in your area or where to take a class. You can also visit the CC Caldwell Facebook page or website. I will announce the winner on September 30th. Thanks for watching.